So I was sent a video that was apparently done on TikTok by this girl who is talking about how basically ignorant people were before compulsory schooling. And so I, I'm going to show it to you. Don't send her hateful messages. She's just a TikTok person. But I want to show it to you and then we'll talk about people today because I think that she has a few things wrong, even if this is really a very common error. All right, so let's take a quick look. It's really easy for us to take for granted how much everyone being in school for at least 12 years changes society. In 1851, so before compulsory state education, journalist Henry Mayhew interviews people making their living on the street, and these are some of the things they say. Don't know nothing about the sun. It must be nearer than the moon, for it's warmer. God, he made the heaven and earth. I never heard of him making the sea. Never heard about Christianity. The first man and woman, as was made and lived, it must be more than a hundred years ago. Naples may be in France, for anything I know. Or in Ireland? I don't know what's the difference between a Jew and a Christian. I've heard of Jesus Christ, but I don't know who or what he was, and I don't particularly care. London is in England, and England is in London, but I don't know which part. I don't know what the Pope is. It's nothing to me when he's no customer of mine. Now, actually, I have known people like all of the people <laughs> who made those comments, but honestly, I think her comment kind of falls apart when you consider that people now do get compulsory schooling for, as she says, 12 years, and they still believe that pregnant men exist. What makes Ari's situation unique is that Ari lives as a man, and he's pregnant. No one said birthing persons back in the mid-1800s. No one viewed sodomy as a basic human right either. No one used phrases like her penis or his vagina. We, it, it takes, it takes a lot of schooling, but not education. I think that's an interesting clarity there. In order to come up with these, these phrases that aren't just ignorant, but it, they take some degree of actual indoctrination to come to that. Now, if you look at our actual schooling, though, right now in the United States, 33% of high school graduates never read another book for the rest of their lives, meaning that they have absolutely no advantage over those who are not literate. 37% of seniors scored at or above proficient at reading in 2019. That's before COVID. 37% of seniors were proficient at reading. <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember the Mark Dice uh, Man on the Street interviews, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar, but Mark Dice would go out on the streets and he would ask people rather basic questions, like something that just kind of spring to mind. Oh, like, what, what do we celebrate on July 4th? Uh, it was one of them asking them like when Independence Day is, just like immediately afterwards, and they had no idea. I'll, I'll pull a few of these actually up and incorporate them, but there was one that was like, how many stars are in the flag, the United States flag, and what do they symbolize? It's 50 or 51, I'm sticking to it, but I'm not going to count it. <laughs> if you had to commit to one of those, which, which one would it be? 51. 52. 52. 52, are you sure? Well, do you want me to count Isn't them? Likewise, because we don't read books anymore, and certainly not classic books, and certainly not those written by white people, uh, because of that, these people who walk around our society today, who have had 12 years of compulsory schooling, which she lords, know nothing about what has informed our culture over the past even 100 years. Never mind going back even further than that, but they just don't even know, like, more recent um, modern history. Talking about books today. No, man, I don't Reading read any books. books? No. <laughs> Who needs those? What's the overall theme of George Orwell's 1984? Huh? <laughs> it's talking about the world. I... The book, 1984? No. Name a character from the book Moby Dick. Oof. It's a big literary classic. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I could. No. It really comes down to a matter of you shouldn't confuse schooling with education because we don't have compulsory education. We have compulsory schooling and you can see the absolute uh, travesty of what's become of it all because it's absolutely appalling. And is this really better? 
I, I'm sorry, I just don't see it. You know, when I look at society today, I think it would be far better to go back to the 1800s when people were quizzed on the street and they didn't understand the relationship between the sun, the moon and the earth. Because right now we've got way bigger problems. Hey, you're still here! Don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already and share it with your friends. I've also got links in the description as to how you can help support my work. Thank you so much!